Labinia dubia is the long-nosed spider crab. These crabs are easily identifiable from their teardrop-shaped body, forked rostrum, and long, thin legs. Spider crabs have four pairs of walking legs and one pair of feeding appendages. The walking legs have hook-like ends that help the crab grip onto uneven surfaces, making them very good climbers. Using their first pair of legs, the maxillipeds, spider crabs can be seen grooming themselves. This reduces fouling. Labinia dubia is found all along the east coast of the United States, as far down to Cuba, and as far west as Texas. There are usually more male spider crabs in a population than female crabs due to their superior size. Labinia dubia can often be found in calm, shallow waters off the coast. These are benthic crabs, so they can be found on the seafloor searching for food. As a juvenile, Labinia dubia will decorate using sponges and certain algae species, but once they become adults, they abandon this habit. Long-nosed spider crabs feed primarily on detritus and algae that has fallen to the seafloor. Labinia dubia are selective feeders and have shown a preference to certain algae based on nutritional and chemical value. Female spider crabs have larger abdomens than males so that they can hold their eggs. During development, Labinia dubia goes through two zoal stages and one megalopa stage. Long-nosed spider crabs are part of two types of symbiosis, commensalism and parasitism. This spider crab here can be seen showing a commensalism with barnacles on its back. Another type of symbiosis used by Labinia dubia is parasitism. Spider crabs have been observed digging holes into Medusa moon jellies and feeding on them. Labinia dubia are very friendly. Enjoy these clips of Gerald the spider crab at Clearwater Marine Aquarium.